So today we're doing this Silver Slugger rebuild. We're going to take the NL versus the AL and we're going to see who comes out on top. We're going to do a one season sim similar to what we did with the Gold Glove video a couple days ago. And we're just going to see who comes out on top. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you're new to it and enjoy the content. And if even if you're not new, make sure you turn on that bell make sure all notifications are enabled so you're notified whenever all videos go live and in the comment section let me know future videos you would like to see you guys put so many comments for silver slugger i had to do the video once the awards were dropped last night so i had to get this video out to you guys today and here we are silver slugger video for all you guys that commented these aren't all the guys that commented there were so many of you guys that did so if you missed last video it's on screen and in the top right hand corner go and give it a watch you can pause this video go watch that one come back to it watch this one or and then watch that one doesn't matter as long as you watch both i'll be happy but with that being said guys i hope you guys do enjoy today's video the silver slugger face off rebuild whatever you want to call it um last thing i gotta say social media is all in the description down below go give them a follow and uh let's get into this let's start with the nl today all right so as you guys can see we are in the al we're with the yankees and i felt like this was the easiest way for everything to be equal this way we have a dh we can use the same dh for both teams that's going to be nelson cruz who was the dh silver slugger award winner and we can also throw in the pitcher zach Greinke, and then we can use the same pitching staff the yankees for both the al and the nl so everything is equal there's no team that has a disadvantage or an advantage for having an extra hitter or having a certain pitcher or not having a certain pitcher or not a certain hitter i felt like this is the easiest way to make everything equal kind of like with the gold glove rebuild where we use the Dodgers pitching staff. So we have Zach Greinke, the NL winner for the Silver Slugger, and then you guys can see normal Yankees pitching staff. First base or first or catcher, we're gonna have JT Realmuto. First base, Freddie Freeman. Second base, Ozzy Albies. Third base, Rendon. Trevor Story, and then outfield was Acuna, Yelich, and then Bellinger. And like I mentioned, we are gonna use the DH Nelson Cruz just so that both teams are equal and there's no like disadvantage for him. So that's really the only change is that Granke's not gonna be a hitter and Nelson Cruz is gonna hit for both teams. So I feel like that's like the easiest way to make everything fair. So for the lineup, it's kind of like this. And then we'll just throw Nelson Cruz as our DH for both teams. And then I'm most likely gonna change a couple things up just because I don't like the, the three lefties being all in the top of the lineup right here. So maybe something like that. Maybe even throw Trevor Story there, um, there, and maybe go like that, or maybe even Rendon there. But I'll definitely change the lineup. But this is kind of what I'm thinking. This is kind of how I'm thinking the team should look. I think it looks really scary. That's a, that's a good hitting, good offensive team. So let's simulate this first season, see how the NL Silver Sluggers plus Nelson Cruz does. We'll see how it goes. So as we near the end of the season, you guys can kind of tell what the record's looking like, but I want you guys to let me know in the comment section who you think would be the better team, the AL or the NL for the Silver Slugger. To be honest, we're about to look at the AL in a second, but I mean, both teams are pretty solid. I mean, they, we're going to we're going to see them, but I think I think the AL might be a little bit better. Just just looking at it, I think the AL is a little bit more rounded and we'll see that one once we get done with the NL. But for now, we're sticking with the NL 101 and 61. So we won the division, taking on the winner of the wild card. And um, let's just see how Granky did. Not terrible, not 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 like something like super amazing or anything. So we're not here to talk about the pitching. Obviously, I'll just quickly go through it so you guys can kind of see what we're working with. whoa okay that was bad no wonder why some things didn't go as well none of these guys matter so we're going to focus on the actual lineup these are all the silver slugger winners except for nelson cruz so we'll just we'll go with this lineup right here because nelson cruz doesn't count so ozzy albies 292 with 23 home runs and 90 rbis pretty solid season especially as a leadoff man with 90 rbis i'll take that for sure freddie freeman in the two spot very dangerous hitter 338 35 home runs love it love it yelich yelich is a beast 45 home runs 128 rbis and a 306 average we got bellinger not too great average wise run production was there home runs doubles all that stuff is good rendon rendon is like a must pick up for a franchise 35 home runs always has really good rbis extra base hits are there the average is always super high he's just a beast acuna 261 is not amazing around 30 home runs almost 100 rbis so it's not terrible but definitely would like it to be a little bit better. Real Muto, 
Okay, not terrible. Not terrible at all. 16 home runs, 65 RBIs. Okay, Trevor Story did well. 286 with 27 home runs and 85 RBIs and 38 doubles with 21 stolen bases and only caught once. Solid. So, um, I guess we could look at Nelson Cruz. Not a bad season at all. And he dropped, what, 17 ratings or something like that? So, definitely a really solid year. We haven't even taken a look at league leaders. Who do we get? Triples for Trevor Story. I didn't even see he had 14. Freddie Freeman had a really good average. He had the hits. And then Yelich with the runs. No. Oh, we did get an award. What did we get? Silver Slugger. Fitting for Fetty, Freddie Freeman. And a gold glove. So, there we go solid so let's go take a look where we're ranked first yeah i would expect that even defense is really high so overall this team is stacked so let's hop into the postseason we're going to be taking on the athletics and that went pretty well we swept them so i'm just going to get the lineup set up the right way and then we should be good to go let's go like that first game should be severino it should, which it is we get the win we get another win two sweeps two sweeps and we're taking on the nationals how fitting that we take on the nationals in the world series so here we go i think it said Armand starting so let's go like this and uh let's go like that Ooh, tanaka had a rough outing let's go Armand there i feel i feel comfortable with Armand being there so game one we lose okay and it's a two to two series a three to two and if we win this world series champs so so far so good the offense is definitely there we just got to hope the pitching does well severino's got a 1080 era yikes all right so they are going to have lemayhu because i swapped him for rendon but everything else is going to be the same for the nationals so let's see how it goes take it on strasburg if we can get an early run that would be that would be really nice one hit a piece Let's see what we can do. Can we get this early run in like I was mentioning? Maybe not. You know, anything would be cool. Two run or two hits a piece and a pretty quiet game so far. That's a good start. Nelson Cruz and then Yelich brings him in. So we do get that run. It did take till the fifth, but I'll take it. So we still have a one run lead. It's a pretty laid back game. Who would have thought? I was expecting five, six runs. Um, so let's see how this goes. Yelich gets on. Bellinger is on. Is this where we just break it open? I guess not. Okay, yeah, we do. Two runs scored, three to nothing, four to nothing now. And that's how it's going to be. Can Severino close it out? Can he do it? I don't want to take any chances. So we're just going to go to Chapman. We're going to get out of this. And we're going to win the World Series with the NL Silver Sluggers, which is huge. That's a good start. 100 and run, 101 wins and a World Series. Let's take a look at the awards. We got playoff MVP for Rendon and World Series MVP was the N or no, the AL Silver Slugger for DH and Nelson Cruz. I'll take that for sure. Crazy good postseason for Rendon. That's a good stat to see. So looking at everyone's stats, you guys can kind of see, you know, things were okay. Ballinger was pretty good. Rendon was really good. Um, this is for the World Series. So yeah, Nelson Cruz is just a beast apparently, even though he's aging like crazy so there's that nl is complete let's hop over to the al now and see that team and see how they perform in a one season sim off who's gonna win nl or al all righty so like i said we are doing the al now so the pitching staff is gonna stay the same the only change is we're gonna add granky that way it's again everything's equal there's no disadvantages or advantages at, or like no disadvantages or advantages for either team every pitcher is going to be the same the only thing that changes is now the lineup because obviously we're in the al compared to the nl so let's take a look at the roster at the catching spot we have mitch garver had a fantastic year this year carlos santana is going to play first and then um dj lemayhu was the second base choice and Bregman was third base. Next up, we have Xander Bogarts at short. Had a phenomenal year this year. Like, huge breakout year. He looks like a really good shortstop for the Red Sox. We got Trout and George Springer. One of my favorites for franchise. And then Mookie Betts. And then, obviously, Nelson Cruz as the DH. So, when we take a look at the lineup, um, Carlos Santana was the first baseman. Did I skip that? I feel like I skipped that. I feel like I skipped first base completely. Carlos Santana's at first. Um, let's get the lineup all sorted. 
who got taken out here? Nelson Cruz. I feel like George Springer's got to play, right? And then um, George. Yeah, I feel like George Springer has to play. That I just. It's just one of those things. He's got to play. And then we'll help Nelson Cruz be the DH when necessary. So this is kind of what I'm thinking like for the lineup. I like the lineup a lot. Um, it looks good. I don't see why. And like I mentioned, I feel like the AL is a little bit stronger. I feel like just all around, like you got Mike Trout. Bregman is a crazy good hitter. Carlos Santana definitely had a good year this year. Bogarts, Springer's starting to turn it up when he can stay healthy. DJ LeMahieu, Mookie Betts. I feel like this team's just a little bit better. If I was looking for like a long-term thing, I probably would have go with the NL though, just because I feel like it's a little bit younger. But for the AL, if I wanted to win today, I'd probably go AL for sure. Um, but if I'm looking long-term, I'm probably going NL. But let's hop into it, a one-year sim. I'm kind of excited to see who comes out on top. All right, so we're heading into the end of the season and it's looking like the AL is a little bit better during the regular season. And by a little bit, I mean quite a bit. 117 and 45 five games off of that gold glove team that won 122 so again if you missed that video you got to go check it out because that team was nutty but 117 wins 45 losses can they get the world series though you can win as many games as you want but uh can you can you get that world series so let's take a look at the lineup mookie bats hit almost 300 as our leadoff hitter solid you want to see that for sure a 377 on base percentage 29 home runs 82 rbis 26 stolen bases as well gotta love it dj the mayhew kind of quiet but still not a terrible year definitely not dj the mayhew like but not terrible mike trout 35 home runs 40 doubles 13 triples 133 rbis and again 20 25 stolen bases solid great average great ops gotta love it nelson cruz a little quiet compared to the NL. I think he had more home runs with the NL, but still really good RBI numbers. So you gotta love to see it. George Springer, 274 with 34 home runs and 109 RBIs, 34 doubles as well. He's got, got caught stealing, what, 14 times? Crazy, all right, Bregman, good amount of home runs, good amount of RBIs, good amount of doubles, gotta love it. Average isn't there, but you know what? I'll take those that run production any day. Xander Bogarts hit 317, 36 home runs, 107 RBIs, 44 doubles, 15 stolen bases. The thing I'm noticing with this roster that I'm using, I'm using username writing rosters. It'll be on screen now, but I'm noticing a lot of stolen bases compared to previous rosters. I don't know what it is, but even like Carlos Santana, he's got 31 speed. He's got 12 stolen bases on the year. What's going on with that? Um, and then Mitch Garver will take a look at his stats. Pretty solid. So pretty happy with what I what we got there. And that's the team. We got some league leaders. Mike Trout with triples and runs. Slugging percentage and OPS. And then we got walks for Carlos Santana. Don't really care about the pitching. And then awards. We got the Hank Aaron Award. We got some gold gloves. And then no silver sluggers. Interesting. Disappointed by that. But let's head into it. We're taking on the Indians this time and clean sweep 22 22 to four. We put up 11 in the eighth. LeMahieu had three RBIs. Trout had four. Nelson Cruz had five and Bogarts had four. Trout had two home runs. Okay. Jeez. Just absolutely crush the indians in that sweep right there it wasn't like a hey we're gonna win this in a sweep we're gonna humiliate you that's basically what happened <laughs> so geez um we're gonna let i guess we could have moved granky but we'll, we'll, we'll go with what we have things are looking pretty good so far so let's hop into this next series against the twins and uh didn't sweep but still got the win, right? So we're taking on the Dodgers in the World Series. Granky Kershaw. And we take the loss. Okay. Win the second, though. The third game, we're up 2-1 to one in the series. And now, it, meh, you know? I forgot what I was going to say. I kind of was stuck between two different words. And I just kind of had a just a, a stroke right there for a second. But what we're going to do, we're going to have Zach Granky take the mound against Kershaw. And we're in the World Series elimination game. Does the choker come out to play with K Clayton Kershaw? So far, it looks like it. So we're up one nothing, and then they get the they get the run right back, and they actually take the lead two to one. So maybe I shouldn't have made that joke. Maybe Kershaw's just gonna shut us down now. 
Come on, let's get the runs. There we go. Bregman brings it. Okay, I was gonna say brings the lead back to us, but now it's a three to three game. Five to three, seven to three. Granky, what's going on here? What's going on? We do have a couple more games to play with, but really don't want to see that happen. Um, and seven to three, Granky's done after five, one hundred percent. We're just gonna take him out now, and we're gonna go to. Why is Sabathia up? I made sure I took him out of the lineup. All right, cool, cool. I love it. Gotta love it. All right, but we'll bring in Britain. Gets us out of the inning. And then we're limited on plate appearances. So let's bring in Nelson Cruz. Unfortunately, he flies out. So we'll just go to another lefty. I guess we'll go Sabathia. <laughs> he does his job, so I'm not going to complain. Thrown out at home, but we're within three now thanks to that. Can we get another run? Tie ball game. I'll take that for sure. Can we extend? Can we get the lead? We can't. Um, all right. So far, so good. We're in the ninth. Seven to seven. Can we get the lead here against Jansen? We can't. And we're not going to let him face. <laughs> we're just not going to. Stolen base. All right. Still tie ball game. Can we get the run? Bregman gives us the lead in the 10th. Carlos Santana extends it. And could we break this open right here? We don't. That's all right. A string of lefties coming up. We got our lefty Chapman. Are we going to get the meme Chapman where he smiles when he gives up a home run? Or is he going to close the door? World Series. So I guess the AL comes out on top this time. Most wins and also... The World Series title playoff MVP was LeMahieu and the World Series MVP. He had himself a postseason for sure. Holy cow. Only one home run, but still did well. So let's take a look. 364, 443 with two home runs. So I guess he had one in the postseason and one in the World Series. Why not just combine the two? Um, six for Trout, three for Nelson Cruz. We got six for Springer for home runs lot of run production crazy good run production and this team was stacked so today the al comes out on top and that is where we're gonna end today's video so again guys i hope you did enjoy the silver slugger face-off competition team build re, i don't whatever you want to call it How, if you guys didn't enjoy it, make sure you hit the thumbs up down below subscribe if you're new to the channel and enjoyed the content turn on all notifications when you click that bell so you're notified whenever a video does go live even if you're not new to the channel make sure you hit that bell icon to get notified whenever a video does go live leave a comment and i'll pick one of you guys's comments for a future video you guys have been leaving amazing comments and i can't thank you all enough on screen now guys is going to be a video that youtube recommends you check out and also the most recent upload so again if you've missed any of those just go give them a watch they're obviously going to be bangers i'll catch you all in the next video peace